Welcome back everybody, Twitch367 here, and today we're going to continue with episode 68 of our Dungeon Dragon Space Shuttle Season 2 series here on the channel. Once again, if you guys want to actually play a server, all you have to do is go ahead and go join the uh, Discord. Link to that is in the description. Um, while you're down in the description, take a peek at all the other social media links, including the Dubby link. Um, it helps me out, helps with the company, and it's a great thing to do. We're still kind of grinding these out. I'm going to be running out of this. Uh, I might even just take the coal from the wall here. Like, I know it's our emergency coal, but I need it. Oh, we've got four blocks again. Uh, our main mission going to go sleep uh, but anyway last episode we unlocked tier 2 of black magic uh, so our main goal at this point is to get enough mana diamond to make the next blood orb um, because that's the next quest and that'll actually open up more evil craft and I really want to get back into evil craft um, and I want to work on our blood room um, probably wait for the endo flames for a second, uh, just so that I can throw these down. Like I don't have to wait. So I need pine. Do I have our rex? I need a. I don't want to change it to like the Prudentium, like even the next tier. I know I said I was going to grind that out soon. Maybe we can work on that as well. Maybe I'll do that between episodes. Maybe I'll just kind of get all of our mystical ag stuff situated and converted. More fur. If I got the pine from around here. Right down here. Probably get a few more of these uh, set up. There's some more coal. I'll grab that too. I also missed a tree here. Really hope I can put these through a sawmill. 
don't think I need, really need too much more. See if I can find one more tree. Also be happy with two. I end up just pulling it, going back home. Let's grab this piece of copper and then we'll uh, head back home. Alright, now that we're here, let's uh, first go grab our mana diamond. Actually, let's uh, get the wood going. If I can get the wood going, uh, just kind of background while we do other things, that would be most beneficial. So now we can do the mana diamond thing. Go over to our mob farm, make the next blood orb. And do we have one on? No. Only over here. You want to convert those as well. I guess I also have that. I also need more food. Grab a bunch of monster jerky. I do want to get a zombie spawner. Because uh, then we can get a bunch of rotten flesh. Nearly full to me. Apprentice Blood Orb. Okay, so I do want to grab a book and do that. That's pretty simple. Oh, this is by putting wood in there. I do need four logs. Block of gold. And this is perfect. Oh, looks like we can't use it. This is why I can't wait to uh, find a way to move spawners. Are there? Hardboard boxes in this? Uh, 
Not that I'm seeing. I'll have to ask the uh, people in Discord and see what's the uh, best way to move one of those. Can I use it? I don't even have any chest transporters anyway. Boss. That needs to go. Farm. Okay, so we just need a few things like a book and a uh, few logs. Book. Logs. Sunset right now. And I have too much fun with these uh, hooks. So let's start with the book. Looks like it just takes a little bit for the blood infused wood. Um, so this just gets me a silver coin. Okay. So this, all I have to do is just. Probably won't show because it's not enough space. Yeah, I really want to get one of these moved inside our base somewhere. <sighs> Alright, there we go. I can go back home. Definitely be long enough now. Then I can make blood infused tools. I'm not sure how that compares to the wood, but just a 
thought. Honestly, I just put things away. Okay, so this is everything we need for a tier 3. I'm going to have to grind out more of these. Pretty easy. Um, especially now that we have a way to get blood. Blood orange. Oh, that's... One orange die. Yellow and red. Honestly, I can just turn all of these flowers into petals. Those are already petals. Then this way we can kind of place everything in there, grab what we need, find out that we need more red. We have bone meal on us. Looks like I have a wooden chest transporter, but I don't think that one works quite like how I want it. Um, needed shears, start with red. Oh yeah, and it's around Halloween right now, so we do also get the lollies. Perfect. We do have quite a bit of each. I don't need a lot of orange dye, I don't think. I think I'm gonna go with like... Eight. Each. I know that's definitely overkill, but I want some extra. Let's just six of them. Need a mortar. That's all we need. And just like that, we're going to have 17 oranges.
Yeah, I do have to have an empty hand. I'm gonna say being able to just make some free food out of dye that we got from flowers that was bone meal. Um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of take advantage of it. Two extra that we have them. I think this is gonna be the last quest we do in today's episode. The rest of the time is gonna be finishing up the bridge. Not bad. Uh, what's on this? Okay. <laughs> it's an enchantment, so I'll take it. Lollies. A. Uh, toss the shears in there. That did give me some prudentium. Like that. Yeah. So that. That. And that. I guess it's all three of these complete. I can. Like, I can probably just make that real quick. Or can. Let's uh, I will let off. Uh, I does say we'll need it for late. I'm gonna put it in there. Okay, yeah, this is... Lightning grenade. I think I need an... Environmental accumulator. Interesting. I'll have to figure that out.
Ooh, that's a better crafter as well. We're gonna be we're gonna be working on some uh dark magic for a little while. Um came up here for planks. Perfect. All of them. Probably leave those at this is All right, so we got our three wide bridge. We need fir wood. All right, do I leave these like this? I think so, because I think I want to do. A little uh, like that so that we can access this from either side and it kind of opens up for the possible expansion that way and to connect over there might even just do soon And the rest of this for now will just be all the way across. And then when I decide where to put the um, automation, we'll kind of change some things around then. I do want it to go all the way to here. Actually. Work with it, not against it. It's up there, there. Looks like it's just a uh, light slab. Light slab. Yeah. And I forgot, for whatever reason, it turns into black granite brick slab. Never break them. Okay, I can stick the sawmill. Ooh, that's actually all the time we have for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Uh, next episode, we are going to continue along. Uh, really, really enjoying how 
for things progressing. We come a long way. Um, more that I reflect on it, like even our base is like most of the way built. Um, it's huge. I still need to get this finished up. I've got some plans for this. I do want to get it automated soon. Um, but everything's just looking so great. I'm loving it. Uh, there's a few things I still need to work on and change, but for the most part, base is probably one of my favorite builds so far. Take a look that there. Just beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the episode there. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Uh, next episode, I'm going to just kind of work on um, probably some more black magic, to be honest. Uh, just because I'm excited about some of the quests. Um, between episodes, if I do get the time, um, I'm not sure if I will or not. But I will kind of just work on bridge, the rest of the fences in. Uh, maybe even work on this little expansion and go that way. Really dig through that. Um, I just want a nice, easier path to our uh, mob farm if that's how we're going to be going. Yeah, with that, see you guys in the next episode. See ya.